Hello, fair mains, and welcome to Friday. Overcast and pensive is my prediction for the virgins of the zodiac all weekend long. Now, you may wake up feeling a little vulnerable still. The moon is in Aries as we wake up, so your emotional focus will still be on trust and intimacy issues, which you've been processing the last two days. But in the end of the day, or the second half of the day, the moon moves into Taurus, which is an earth sign just like you, so you're going to feel much stronger, you're going to feel much more grounded, and you're going to begin a weekend long of processing. Probably be very spaced out. This is one of those weekends where Virgos can't be found. You know, they'll probably be in your house doing things with people you care about and spacing out and learning. This is the transit where we emotionally process our last 30 days. You reread old emails, you remember old conversations. This time you have the perfect comeback for the jerk in the bar, that sort of thing. And you're emotionally maturing based on your last 30 days. But there's other stuff going on. One, on one hand, today Uranus is ruling the day. So this is the breakdown, breakthrough energy of the month. Now to, out of all 12 signs, you're probably set up to take it the lightest. This is a very easy transit in comparison to the other transits. So the only breakdown you may have is you may find that something you once believed in, you can no longer believe in. That's usually the most harsh kind of breakdown I find in this particular transit. Remember this month you are working on your belief structure, what you believe in, what you don't, philosophy, etc. So you may have a religion that you participate in let you down. You may have another person let you down. You may find you let yourself down to some degree. But at the end of the day, you're going to realize that what you believed in was a bit false or no longer works with your other beliefs. Remember, belief structures are very fluid. What we believe as a child is accurate. What we believe as an adult is accurate. It's about our belief structure working together. Now, on top of all of that, it's the new moon. It's light cast day today and, and in the next 24 hours. So this is the best weekend to do some heavy meditation on what you want to believe in and what beliefs you want to get rid of. That's also important. If you don't know how to light cast, it's very simple. Just go into a meditation, light a candle, light some incense. We're going to be selling light cast kits very soon here that helps people with this. Fill your heart with love and cast your light into the universe, uh, showing by visualization what it is you want to have happen. And in your case, it's likely a lot more complicated than just a simple vision of a net brand new sports car. You're wanting to come up with a belief structure where you truly believe in your spouse, you truly believe in yourself, you truly believe in what you believe in, and it's all working. So you're going to have to kind of come up with the delicacies of what your particular light cast is. It's one of those transits that, as an astrologer, hard to predict. All right, Virgo, that's all I got for the weekend forecast. Enjoy being spaced out. I'll see you back on Monday with more. Live, love, be. So